Peter Pagosian. He's like, I'm going to blow a little smoke up David Pakman's ass. I'm going to reward him here. He's doing a good thing by talking to people in good faith, right? I retweeted, you know, just, I disagree. Right. You know, I, I like the sentiment, Peter, but nah, I, I right. disagree. I think you got the wrong impression about David Pakman. And then literally the next day, Trigonometry puts up a video that says, David Pakman, bad faith lying piece of crap. Yes. He tags us on his channel as soon as he's uh, not talking to us. So right. he puts his profile on the line and then immediately he's like, oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. David <laughs> turns out David Pakman is a lying piece of shit, just like everybody <laughs> says he is. Yes. And he yes. immediately tweets out, you know, I hope this is some kind of misunderstanding because I just put my ass on the line by saying you were likable. Right, I know a lot exactly. of people, a lot of people said I was wrong and now it appears they are correct. <laughs> Like so we do we do have plans. I got to admit, I do love the Tuesday streams because it's a little more, how shall we say, informal, basically. Laid back. Yeah, laid back. Exactly. Just shooting have, the craps. We have less viewers. We kind of encourage mm -hmm. people to not watch the Tuesday <laughs> stream. We, we unlist them. And I guess many people probably don't even know we do a Tuesday stream. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, do, we do actually have some plans uh alt hype also known as lp i don't know what the lp stands for but we've been on his stream before and so he's talking to i hypocrite yeah i hypocrite what did i say the alt hype oh i did okay it's a completely different person <laughs> you're right alt hype is the alt right guy from forever yes ago. yes how dare you no you're right not alt hype i hypocrite <laughs> Yes. They're so is was that similar? We'll have to ask him when he comes. So I hypocrite. I don't think they're similar. Who is definitely right wing? I mean, I Yes. Okay. I'm cool to say. He's that. very religious, apparently. Right. I hate to misgender anyone politically. I feel like it's <laughs> I feel like it's just as bad as misgendering trans people. It is. It it's is. worse. If someone I believe in self-identification, mm. at least when it comes to politics. I if you want, when it comes self to gender, but only when it comes to politics. Well, sometimes in, in gender, sometimes okay. there's okay. obvious. Sometimes people are faking it. The 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 political stuff, though. I'm. Sh are there people faking it? I don't know. Why would you fake it? I guess For maybe money. There are. Obviously, come on. People hiding their power level. Yeah, there are people faking it. But anyway, mm -hmm. the accusation that's always made is that everyone is faking it in the political realm. Hence the reason why anyone who calls themselves a centrist is immediately labeled by the David Pakmans of the world as right wing. Like <laughs> they just come right out and say, listen, you're faking it. OK, I you're don't fake. believe you. I, I mean, it's bizarre to me because when transphobes do the same exact thing, and misgender trans women, they say, you know, they call him a dude or whatever. Mm -hmm. They say, listen, you're a biological male, right? And they misgender them. And then the David Packmans of the world are like, oh, hate crime. <laughs> You've committed a hate crime. But then he does the same exact thing with anyone who calls it, says, listen, I self-identify as a centrist, okay? Yeah. And then he goes on his stream and he basically says, ah, these people are fucking right wingers. We know they're right wingers. They're not, we know, we know the truth about these people. We should, we should briefly talk about the David Pakman, uh, yeah, the, side quest that, totally. you're, that you've meandered into, which is, it was like a few, was it last week or the week before, uh, Peter Bogosian, I think was talking about potentially speaking to you want to speak to like a good faith progressive i and did, wait a second i think he actually watched the interview that the trigonometry guys did with david Patton. oh that would be and, even more interesting yeah and okay. that's why he's responding so so uh david or Trigonometry did an interview with David Pakman and they were they went out of their way to say this is good faith you know we're trying to talk to people in good faith and I think Peter Bogosian who's a was part of like the atheist community 
I classify him as an anti-theist. I did a really nice talk with Peter uh, Pagosian a while back because he wrote a book and I kind of interviewed him for that. So I have done a talk with him. He basically... One of the three people that did the Sokol hoax with James Lindsay and Helen Pluckrose. Was he? Yeah. Oh, I guess he, he was. the third person? I yeah. guess he was, yeah. So yes, exactly. So Peter Pagosian uh, evidently watched this interview and tweeted out you know, David Pakman is someone good faith on the left. And, you know, we need to, we need to blow smoke up every, anyone's ass who's fucking good <laughs> faith on the left because there's so few of them. Right. And I immediately retweeted that and said, strong disagree. Right. I don't, I think David Pakman has been captured by his audience and is not good faith at all. Didn't someone tagged us? I thought someone's like, Hey, sit down. What do you think about David Pakman being good faith? <laughs> yes. Well, I responded. I retweeted. Right. I retweeted. You know, just I disagree. You right. know, I I like the sentiment, Peter, but nah, I don't. I right. disagree. I think you got the wrong impression about David Pakman. And I I think I even included a link to one of our shows. Yeah, just, you you included yeah. us talking about it. I replied, including the Michael Knowles David Pakman short interview <laughs> saying. I don't, I don't know if he can call this good faith or whatever. Correct. And then it was funny because uh, a few days after that, Adam DMs me the, it was yesterday, actually. Adam yes. DMs me the video, the interview between David Pakman and Trigonometry that says, you know, good faith conversation with David Pakman. And I was like, oh, is it actually in good faith? And I think you're like, oh, it's boring or whatever, but it's, you know, it's good faith. And then, Literally the next day, trigonometry puts up a video that says David Pakman, bad faith lying piece of crap. Yes. Texas on his channel as soon as he's uh, not talking to us. Yes. So he goes on his channel and he basically calls him right wing, even though in the very beginning of the fucking interview, they go yes. over their political views. They both say their political views. You know, I'm a centrist. You know, I'm more, I'm a classical liberal, whatever they do. Right, None of, right. neither one of them come out and say, I'm a right winger. Right. But uh, David Pakman decides to basically go after them and call them right wingers. Now, I know the argument that they make, it's the same exact argument the transphobes make about, um, <laughs> that the transphobes make about trans people, right? They're like, biologically, they're not, they're lying, right? <laughs> But we, but we can look at reality here. Uh -huh. Re reality right. <laughs> says differently, right? I know that they're saying that they're centrist, but mm. let's look at reality here, okay? How is it any different? It You're is, such a fucking hypocrite. I guess it's the same. Well, they, and they, he, they didn't. David Packman didn't just call them right wing. I mean, he did, and he labeled the video like that. But then he also selectively took out like tiny chunks of their conversation that made David look good and made them look bad. Right. So it was a, it was a total hatchet piece. It was a total hit job. And they felt betrayed just as I felt betrayed regarding some of our conversations with people on the left where I come away with it thinking it was a good conversation. And then afterwards they turn around and are like whining and snaking you Hit, stabbing you in the back and just being totally bad faith. Since you're so naive, this is the way it works. This is this is pro felicity at its finest right here, because he, he, like all of this fits into the pro felicity frame. Uh, Peter Pagosian, he's like, I'm gonna blow a little smoke up David Pakman's ass. I'm gonna reward him here. He's doing a good thing by talking to people in good faith, right? So right. he puts his profile on the line and then immediately he's like, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. David <laughs> turns out David Pakman is a lying piece of shit, just like everybody <laughs> says he is. Yes. And he yes. immediately tweets out, you know, I hope this is some kind of misunderstanding because I just put my ass on the line by saying you were likable. Right, I know a lot exactly. of people, a lot of people said I was wrong and now it appears they are correct. I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know who I could possibly be talking about. No yeah. idea who I could possibly be referring to. But oh, you mean about the bad face stuff? 
Yes. It's Jangles. I got the tweet. Oh, wait. <laughs> right here. Jangles. Right on screen. That's right. There you go. Did he ever respond? Because I asked him just to make his position clear. Like the the So do, do you have anything more to say on the David Pakman stuff before we move on? Um, I mean, it's not like we're going to so. clip it out or anything. No, if you guys have any questions, have you can go ahead and I ask just, us. I just thought it was hilarious that Adam, like, immediately he sends this to me. He's like, David Pakman, good faith. And then the next day, it's like, David Pakman, fucking bad faith, piece of crap. So, but David Pakman did. So, David Pakman responded to Peter Bogosian. Peter Bogosian says, Listen, I put my ass on the line for you. See, I'm paraphrasing always and always paraphrasing, trying to make it more funny than it actually is. So, that means you're a liar. I don't know if you know this. I know people will say, It's a comedy show. Listen, we. (laughs) We exaggerate for effect. Obviously, that's part of comedy. I mean, you lie for the sake of comedy. No. Well, I mean, uh, if we exaggerate so over the top, you're supposed to, you know, intuit that we're not serious, right? Obviously. But anyway, so uh, Peter Pagosian responds, you know, I hope this is a mistake. I, I just vouched for you. My profile's on the line here. And... Well, he didn't Dave, say that. That's that's your right. reading into it. But you're probably right. But. It is true. I mean, is yeah. it incorrect? Yes. No, you're right. You're right. Listen, if you recommend a doctor to your friend, and then all of a sudden he gets gangrene after visiting that doctor, <laughs> he's not going to be friends with you anymore, Sitch. No. He's going to be lo- like, what the fuck did you let do me, to let me? me? Read the, let me read this interaction, because I like that you weighed in on it, too, on Twitter. Let me try to, should I try to bring it up? Maybe I should try to bring it up. We don't need to bring it up. Okay, good. Uh, I can't find it. So Trigonometry puts up the video. It says, we interviewed Deepak on our channel, and afterwards he smeared us as right-wingers and destroyed us with bad faith. Watch our response. Uh, Peter Bogosian responds by saying, what a shame. I genuinely enjoyed that conversation. Hopefully this is just a misunderstanding. Pacman responds yes. saying, I can't imagine what the misunderstanding could be unless right winger is now considered a smear. Right. Which, first of all, it is, if you're on the left, 100% considered a smear. Right. <laughs> Just as like if if some very far right person was talking to, you know, a moderate Republican or right winger and they call them a, a left winger or a rhino, it's considered a smear, obviously. Right. Um, but also he's ignoring the fact that it wasn't just him labeling them a right winger. They go over in their video how he selectively clips them saying things that makes them look bad. And he selectively clips, you know, things that make him look good. And then he laughs at them sort of, which is kind right. of, and you know, bad taste. Well, yeah, he but, belittles them for being right wingers. Right. And then Adam says, this is so dishonest. Right. Yeah. Which is true. True. Yeah, but I also retweeted David Pakman saying, okay, groomer, because, like, yeah, groomer's not an insult, dude. You're the best groomed person I see on the internet. I mean, you definitely, <laughs> you you take hygiene to a new level, David. What? What? Mm-hmm. Groomer's an insult? <laughs> I, I had no idea groomer is an insult. I just meant that you looked nice. The, mm-hmm. This is the thing, too. Um calling someone a man is not an insult either unless of course they identify as a woman you right. fucking moron yeah, yeah that's a good point that's a great point what the fuck do you want not understand that they like the part of the good faith conversation was they were going to say here are my political views and neither one of them said hey i'm a right winger you're on a right wing podcast no they both both these guys you know they're our brands overlap here. These guys are centrist, basically. That's These right. guys are centrist. I mean, they might even said disaffected liberal. I'm not sure. I can't mm-hmm. remember. But mm-hmm. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't paying that close attention. But neither one of them said right winger. And I mean, I, it's just obviously it is a smear because you're you're labeling them something that they don't self identify as. Right. Which With is the, the intention of, of coding them to your audience in a negative fashion, too. Yes. Yes. S- specifically, that's why they're doing it. Obviously. Obviously. Right. And then to play to play naive here, because yes. Peter Bogosian weighs in, because he's, re- he's responding to Peter Bogosian, like, oh, Peter Bogosian is a respected member of the community. <laughs> <laughs> 
The jig is up with David Pakman, man. I know. David Pakman's here's David Pakman's brand right here. <laughs> Fucking crash and burn. Well, it's weird because he used to be like a pretty seemingly neutral news guy. And then I think he got kind of popular by drinking the Kool-Aid and having this like very, you know, just all standard left wing good, right wing bad takes and kind of dropping the neutral news guy act. And uh, I think he's been captured by his audience now. I think that's what's going on. Yeah, I kind of want to do of like a meme with the back of David Pakman's head and like the two doors. And one mm -hmm. door is like fucking woke sell out and the other door is like neutral news journalist well i'm not sure it's like woke it's more like um like msnbc standard like everything left is good and everything right is bad right i don't know if he himself is necessarily like that woke i mean he's he's just he is just as bad as joy reed I can't yeah, but believe what I mean Joy is, Reid like, has a television show. Right. I'm just saying it's 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 about it's not necessarily about woke issues though. It's more just about standard left right issues that he just has this kind of blind elephants mentality about. But regardless, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, we should probably play real quick the clip. We'll, we'll conclude the Jangles saga because I don't know if we're ever going to end up talking to Jangles again. Who's, I'm down. I, I'm down to do it, but I don't know. He seemed kind of. I'm not sure he wants to talk to us again. <laughs> Jangles? Oh, what? Yeah, what did Jangles? I got distracted here. So someone responded. I follow this person. And I don't know. I mean, I've I've been following them for a long time, and they're obviously on the far far left, and they got totally bent out of shape that I retweeted mm -hmm. David Pakman with an OK groomer calling someone a pedophilic child groomer because you disagree with how they labeled me uh labeled media org is categorically a fucking smear mm -hmm. yeah that's the point it's called fucking payback it's like you smack me in the face i smack you back that's what the, that's how it works don't you understand like uh, this is this how this is how this plays out the 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 groomer thing is going to to be tied to progressive in the same way that racist has been tied to right wing when someone says progressive everyone is going to think groomer that's exactly what's going on here just like like when everyone says right wing people think racist <laughs> mm -hmm. this what's that's going on that is going to happen yes that's that yep. is your future progressives yep. Yep. You are going in two years, maybe maybe one year. The internet moves pretty fast. You're going to be embarrassed to be called a progressive. <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> anyway, uh, so he says. Anyway. He also says you're dishonestly smearing me. Oh, in quotes, you're dishonestly smearing me by sharing your personal assessment of my political perspective. So is it dishonestly smearing someone to share your personal biological assessment of the way they look? Like if someone How doesn't pass, if someone is not passing and you want to put your personal assessment into the world, mm -hmm. most people would call you a fucking transphobe, okay? <laughs> so just if, if you're cool with being able to misidentify people willy nilly to, to, you know, get your own fucking, you know, uh, philosophical rocks off. Just don't, it's like an all or nothing. Just be consistent. Yeah. There's, there's no consistency. That's my either. Ted talk. Okay. 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 That's good. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.